Hello friends, welcome once again to our YouTube channel. This is the third part on search and indices. In this tutorial, I will be sharing you a shortcut trick for solving a question based on comparison of roots, which is very important for SSSGL. To get an idea about the question type I am talking about, let's see some sample questions. These are extremely important questions and are asked almost every year in CGL exam. I have already discussed question number 1 and 2 in part 1 and uh, question number 3 in part 2. So links of both these parts are available uh, in the description of this video. You can uh, watch those parts from there. In this tutorial, I will be dealing with question uh, questions of type question number 5 and 4. Okay, so let's move ahead. This question has been taken from previous year paper of CGL exam. Most of the books provide very lengthy solution to these kind of questions. Guys, you don't need to do all these. It's a pretty simple question that can be solved within seconds and that too without using pen and paper. Let's see how. Just rewriting the question. Have a look on these roots carefully. There is a pattern. So, what is the pattern? On uh, either on adding the numbers or inside the roots or subtracting them, you will get the same uh, number. If that is not the case, you can't apply this trick. So, here uh, in this case, 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. 15 plus 1 is equal to 16, 12 plus 4 is equal to 16, and 10 plus is equal to 16. So it's 16 everywhere, right? So we can apply that. So what is the trick? Simply multiply these two numbers 9 into 6, 15 into 1, 12 into 4, 10 into so you will get 53, 15, 48 and 60. Now, the roots of the number which is greatest will be the um, greatest. It means this root, root 9 plus root 7 will be the greatest. And the root of a smallest number will be the smallest. Okay. So 63 uh, is the greatest among uh, those numbers that we have got. 63, 15, 48, 60. So this root, root 9 plus root 7 will be the greatest. After that, this one will come. And after that, this root is, will come and uh, this one root 15 plus root, root 1 will be the smallest one. So it's a very simple trick. Let's move ahead. Again a similar type of question. Just rewrite the root first. You don't need to write this. I am writing just to explain you. You can do all this in your mind so you don't need any pen or paper so in this case also adding the numbers of the root we get 21 15 plus 6 21 17 plus 4 21 12 plus 9 21 again multiply these two numbers 16 into 6 17 into 4, 12 into 9, and you will get you will get 38, 19, 68, 108. So 
since this number is the greatest among uh, these four numbers the roots of uh, this number the root corresponding to this number will be the greatest so it will be the greatest of all and this number is the smallest of all so its corresponding root will be the smallest okay so after this uh, 108 90 comes so it will be the second greatest okay it will be the third greatest so in this question you were asked to find the smallest the so smallest is root 19 plus root 2 okay now move ahead uh, this question is a bit different because minus is involved instead of plus so let's see how to solve these kind of questions the approach and or trick remains same uh there is just a small variation let's see what again on adding you get 23 plus 326 21 plus 5 26 22 plus 4 26 19 plus 7 26 so we can apply this trick right 69 this is 23 into 3 69 uh, for your understanding let me write this 22 into 4 19 into 7 so we got 69 One zero five eighty eight, and here you will get one thirty three. So in case uh, where uh, minus is involved, do the opposite. What we were doing in case of uh, uh, questions where plus was involved was considering uh, uh, the greatest numbers root as the greatest. But in this case. the small uh, the roots of uh, smallest number will be the greatest so in this case this root will be the greatest okay and uh, since this number is the greatest of all its root will be the smallest just the opposite of what we were doing in case of addition right this will be the second greatest why because its root is uh, it just greater than 69 which is the smallest of all number it will be the third okay so you were asked to find the greatest among these roots so it will be root 23 minus 3 very simple this is the last question of uh, this tutorial it's again a bit different because uh, in all those question we were getting the same number when we were adding the numbers of the root uh, but in this case the, the numbers after subtracting the numbers of the root are same before applying uh, this trick make sure that either the either uh, after subtracting or adding the numbers of the root you get the same number if uh, if that is not the case please don't apply this trick so here 19 minus 17 is equal to 2 18 minus 11 is equal to 2 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 so we can apply this trick right So 19 into 17, 13 into 11, 7 into 5, and 5 into 3. So 19 into 17 will be 3, 2, 3. 13 into 11 will be 1, 4, 3. It is 35. That is 35. 
15. So what we learned in last question was in case of uh, in uh, in case of questions where minus uh, is involved, the greatest root will be uh, will be of the number which is the smallest after multiplying. So this one will be the greatest of all roots. Okay. After that, it will come its second greatest. It will it will be the third greatest. And it will be the smallest. Why? Because this number three two three is the greatest. The greatest the number, the smallest the root. In case of uh, in case where the uh, minus is involved in root ok so you were asked to find the greatest so greatest will be root 5 minus root 3 ok now there are some questions for you to practice uh, try to solve them without using pen and paper without taking too much time I hope you can solve this question within within seconds now so pause this video for a while and uh, try to solve this question the answers are there after few seconds there is the answer okay if you are uh, new to our channel please subscribe for learning more shortcut tricks your views and subscriptions motivates us to create more videos so please share view and comment on this video see you in the next part of this series have a great day